Hey, so if you're like me, you like to save time and use all the kinds of plugins to help speed up your productivity, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you one of my very favorite tools for productivity. It's a Chrome extension and it's gonna change your life, I guarantee it, coming up. Hey, what's up? My name is Jiran. I make videos on web development, design, and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you like what you see in this video, consider subscribing and just giving it a thumbs up. It'll really help me out. All right, so the tool I want to talk about today is called Clipboard History. This tool is a game changer. I cannot live without this tool. I mean it. I'm telling you, after you use this tool, you're going to feel the same way. What it basically does is whenever you're typing something and you copy it, and then you type something else, and then you copy something else. And you're like, no, wait, why did I copy that? I wanted the other thing. Clipboard history is going to be an actual history of everything that you typed. And it's not just five or two or 20 things. You can go in thousands. I've literally gone weeks ago, things that I've copied weeks ago, and I've searched for them and, and it's just there. So let me show you. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's gonna have all of your history it's gonna save all of your history just like this. Look at that. So three hours ago, 25 minutes ago, et cetera, and it'll go farther and farther and farther. So this is really, really useful. You can of course delete your entire history. You can um, also see how long the characters is, which is extremely helpful. All right, so to find this tool, all you gotta do is search for it. So type in clipboard history. And just to be sure, I'm gonna type in Chrome. And the first thing that pops up pops up is going to be clipboard history on the Chrome browser. Now for me, it's, it's going to say that I've already downloaded it, but for you, it should say, you know, add the extension and you click it and then you're good to go. Now look at all those positive reviews. That's for good reason. It's because this is so very useful for so many people. How could you, I mean, I can't think of a single negative thing to say about this app. It's fast and it really has saved my ass mo multiple, multiple, multiple times. All right, so let's go ahead and start playing with it. So once you download it, if you don't see it right away, click on this little uh, little puzzle piece and you're gonna have to toggle it on or off. It might already be toggled off by default. So just toggle it on. And once you do that, you'll be able to see it right up on your extensions. Yes, I have a lot because I use a lot. <laughs> All right, so for you, it'll be totally clear without anything. But for me, as you can see, I have tons of things that I've cut and pasted. Um, and, not, and not just like a couple of minutes or a couple of them, but I'm talking days. This will go days and days and days. Obviously, because I've been working on the computer for so long that I'm going to have, you know, hours and hours and hours. But for you, if you're not using the computer all the time, you could see things for weeks, weeks ago. And that's going to be extremely useful for a couple of reasons. I've actually run into issues where I copied something, I pasted it, and then by accident I deleted the document that I was working on, or I copied something over to a browser, and then I accidentally closed that browser window. Um, that it could be a nightmare, you know, especially if it was like a job application or something like that, and you wrote a huge uh, cover letter or something like that. Well, if you copied it at any point on that browser, Clipboard history has a history, essentially, of that entire text. So you can go back to it whenever, and not just right when you need it, but, you know, a couple weeks later, or a couple days later, when you need that piece of text that you, you really wish you had, but you deleted it, or you don't have any record of it, Clipboard history is there to the rescue. All right, first things first, you can actually turn this on and off. So if I turn it off right now, you'll see that uh, I'm gonna copy this whole thing. Let's copy this text and let's copy this text and let's copy this text. And you'll see nothing will actually happen. You'll see that the clipboard history icon actually turned gray. That's to indicate that nothing's happening. It's not copying anything. If you open that up and you turn it on again, now let's go ahead and try copying some things again. So I'll copy that, I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna copy that. And now when we take a look at it, you'll see that it actually copied the things that we copied. You see a few seconds ago. So you can turn this on and off. And if you turn it off, you know, you don't see it anymore. Don't freak out. It's just gray. It's still there. The next thing I want to talk about is the faves section. So this is really, really useful if you have things that you copy all the time, um, maybe links to, to pages that you know you're going to be using all of the time, but you just don't want to search for them or type them in. You can just save them as a favorite. So this is how you do that. You go into this hamburger menu, add text, and then we're going to type in... Uh, the website is cool, whatever. Let's just do that. Click add. I'd, oh, before we do that, we have to say where we're gonna save it. So we're gonna save it to favorites, not cloud, because it's a paid um, feature. Favorites, 
add item and there we have it see so this one was eight minutes ago but this one is a few seconds ago and you'll of course see that this is always going to be dynamic so it says a few seconds now but tomorrow it's going to say one day ago you also notice that you're able to save things that you've added to the clipboard uh to favorites just by checking the star so right here check check okay there's a little delay there but they're all checked so now if i click on faves you'll see that everything that i put a star on is checked or added to the favorites uh, section. I can edit that at any point, so I can edit that and change what it says. And by the way, if you copy something that you really don't want anybody to see that you copied, you can always just delete that, just that line item. So you can click X right here. However, you're not able to delete items that have a star on them. So you're gonna have to uncheck the star first and then delete the item. One of the last things that I wanna mention is that you can see obviously how long that text is. Now, why is this important? It's because sometimes you have let's see if i can find an example you know what i'll give you an example right now so let's copy this entire paragraph and then let's copy this entire paragraph uh just up to history copy so now we have two strings essentially that are copied over so now if i click on clipboard history you'll see that there's two entries there's two things that are saved here um but which one is the one that you want that's the tricky part right so that's where the length comes in handy because this way we can dif differentiate a little bit easier on which is the one that we want so if we did this multiple times if there's one that's just one line or an entire page long we'll be able to see that from the length and one of the last features that i want to talk about is something that is totally unexpected i actually didn't even know that this was in the app until i started doing this video because it's so out of the blue but you can actually take a screenshot of the page that you're working on and it works just like any of these other uh, full page screenshot Chrome extensions. So if we go over to the hamburger menu and click on full page, we'll see that it starts taking a screenshot of the entire page and it's gonna download it to our downloads folder automatically as a PNG file. And if I open that up, take a look at this the entire page right here so with this app you can essentially kill two birds with one stone i actually have my uh, a separate uh extension right here that will do the exact same thing that i you just saw me do but i'm probably going to delete that one because now i don't need it since this one does two things it, it'll it's a clipboard history and it's, it takes screenshots saves them as a png onto my downloads folder all right so that was clipboard history pro if you enjoyed this video, you learned something, maybe you're going to use this extension, please consider hitting the subscribe button because it really, really helps me out and the thumbs up because then that way people find, looking for this information can actually find it. Um, that's all I got and thanks so much. I'll see you next time.